Darling? Darling, are you here? <sighs> you scared me. I was worried you hadn't gotten my note. It's so good to see you. I love the way that the moonlight plays across your face. It makes those beautiful eyes of yours sparkle. <laughs> Please, my darling. Could I possibly give you a kiss? Hmm. No, of course. Chaste and simple, I promise. So tell me, how have you been? I haven't seen you around the castle recently, and I had begun to worry about you dearly. And of course, that's why I called you out here tonight, so that I could see you with my own eyes. Oh. They just have you doing other tasks as opposed to your normal maid work? Yes. I suppose that makes sense. Oh, you're in the kitchens now. Hmm. <laughs> so some of those delicious meals I've been having are no doubt from your hands? Oh, I see. You're just learning you haven't started cooking yet? Well... Now I know that I'll need to keep an eye out for a sudden dramatic increase in flavor. If for no other reason, then I know that you'll be cooking with love. <sighs> My sun and stars. I've missed you so dearly. Yes. I've... I've been visited by several potential matches recently, but I have turned them all away. Or I've... Then I feel ashamed to admit it. Been an utter brute so that they would not ever wish to come near me again. Crown Prince or not. Sometimes I wish we could just run away from all of this. I've been doing much better in my sword training as of recently. And I can ride a horse better than any man alive. We could survive off of tourney money. Or I could become a sellsword. I know. I could never abandon my parents like that or my country. Especially since my little brother is so sickly. I don't worry that he'll survive, of course. I just worry that with his poor constitution that ruling wouldn't suit him. Besides, Realistically, I couldn't give up all of my books. I've just been focusing more on my martial prowess recently and the hopes that if it does come about, I can protect you. But listen to me, Blatheron. Quite rude, I know. I'm sorry. Tell me, beloved, how has everything been for you? Are your parents still trying to force a match upon you as well? I see. I've been working up the courage to approach my mother and father about it. We do have a little bit on our side. As of the moment, there are only a few kingdoms outside of ours with girls eligible for marriage. And most of them are at such low standing that we wouldn't gain anything from an alliance with them. In fact, a couple of them, we would only gain enemies from that alliance. So, 
potentially we could be fortunate and find that there are no royal women for me to marry unfortunately even if that were the case typically my family would try to pair me up with I don't know a merchant's daughter or somebody with plenty of wealth and the crown can always use more money of course but I promise you I am trying very hard to gather the courage to tell my parents that I wish to be with you I have recently begun the task of trying to get my parents to accept the idea of a common born from the lower end of the economic scale as a royal I've discussed how that would be the best way to learn about our people and learn about the struggles of the common folk and if the commoners love you they'll never rebel and if you do have to go to war when you call the banners, they'll fight extra hard for you if they know that the alternatives to be under a royal family that they're not as fond of. <sighs> Still. Might I kiss you again? I know. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to apologize. I miss the feel of your lips against my own. And I know that we talked about not getting too physically comfortable with one another just in case. And I agree. But small chaste packs I don't think count, do they? <laughs> oh dear that's one of my favorite things about you is that bold tongue of yours <laughs> I must agree the chaste kisses do definitely lead me to want to do more I'll admit there have been several moments where I've well, pondered the idea of what your legs might look like under those skirts. Oh my, it's not often that I cause you to go so red. Well, I assume that my imagination is nowhere near to the actual things. And maybe someday I'll be able to see your legs in person. And you'll get to see mine. Although I guess I'm not sure. Do ladies wish as badly to see the legs of men? Oh, my chest, my stomach, and my arms. I see. Well, I would like to see those things on you as well. But I apologize. I did not call you out here to speak such lewd things to you. Although, that blush on your cheeks is quite fetching. Do you have long? Will your parents notice that you're missing soon? Or... No. No. The guard that's outside of my room, he knew that I was sneaking out tonight. Although, I must admit that I'm embarrassed about what he thinks I'm going to do. 
Well, I did specifically tell him that I was coming to see my lady love. But he seems to have mistaken what I said as me going to see a lady of the night. That's... Yes. He's a grizzled old vet. I do like him. He tells wonderful stories, although they are rather risque at times. But he says that every man falls in love with his first. I'm sorry, darling. I... Obviously, if, it, if, if he knew that I was coming to see you, I would never allow him to think such things of you. But as long as he thinks that I'm going to visit some faceless, nameless woman of the night, then I don't suppose I mind. I would risk the tarnishment of my own reputation if it meant that I continued to get to see you. Yes. You're right. I should let you go before it gets much later. Your parents will be worried. Can I have that final kiss before you go? I promise, soon. I'll find a way for us to be together. If it's the last thing I do, I will. I love you as much as my heart could possibly allow. <laughs> Good night, my love. I hope you have wonderful, sweet dreams. And my sweetest dreams, of course, will be of you.